122 drive chrome I did today. About 50 for the Hungarian Grand Prix. This is the grid. It's time to see how our starting grid looks like for today's race. Fantastic effort from Charles Leclerc yesterday, and it's put him on pole, edging out Max Verstappen, who will start from P2. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Norris, Perez, Pierre Gasly, and Sainz, Albert, Russell, Ocon, and Kevin Magnussen, Oscar Piastri, Tictum, Mick Schumacher, and Sonoda, Fernando Alonso, Stroll, Robert Schwartzman, and Nicholas Latifi, Joe, and Brown. That's it then, it's time to go racing as we head down trackside for today's race. So as you've seen from the grid there, we are starting right at the back, P20. So it is once again another damage limitation Grand Prix. Hopefully we can have a good start, can't get any worse, we, not, we can't go backwards. Points, probably a bit of a stretch today, but we'll see how, how far we can drag this Mercedes. We should, in theory, breeze past these in front of us. I, this is probably one of my weakest tracks on the Formula 1 calendar, Hungary. And it's hard to overtake, so this could be a very long race for us here in Hungary. There is a slight chance of rain at the end, I think it was around 70 odd percent, but as Martin Brundle would say, that's still 30 percent chance of it not happening. I'm debating whether to start on the hards, but I think the mediums is a more sensible choice, because if it does rain, we don't really want to be on dead hard tyres. Hopefully there's a bit of drama, some safety cars, let's see what we can do in the final round before the summer break. Here we go then, there's one, there's two, there's three, there's four, five lights out of the drivers. And we are racing, but we've had an absolute shocker once again. Oh my god, I'm so far back. I've had the reactions there of a slough. But we're going to send it to the inside layer, and we're all wide there into time one. At the inside of the two half and the two. That's the minds, we need to get these at the start. But we're boxed in from Stroll Latifi. We're going to try and keep the pin running outside. Uh, got the two alphas. We nearly got the two Aston Martins, but Stroll. Can he keep on the outside of him? What about there? No, we've gone to the outside. We might have lost out to Joe. He's at the inside of us going into the chicane. And we have lost out to him. And I'm flying over the curb there. And that could not have gone any worse. There's a... They're all battling ahead. There's on my side if it doesn't help you. No, no, the start was not fighting. We came one place. Joe's gone for a long struggle. And now, can we have a look possibly? Let's just keep it clean. Keep it clean. Try and look where we can maybe get past both of them. Here into the final corner. Joe's got the drop down on Lance Stroll. Now, here we go on Lance. Our former teammate. We've had some issues in the past with him. Uh, it's dropped in this time. Much so we're on the back of Joe now. We've sent it late up the inside. And it's dropped in. Next up, Latifi. Is he going to fight back? No, he's not, but it's wheel to wheel now. With large stroll, stroll trying to get up the inside of Joe. They're side by side. But this is allowing us to pull away a little bit. And the stroll round the outside. Looks like he may have just got ahead and he has. And now we can go hunting. After Latifi. As Mick Schumacher's engine has popped. Schumacher turns in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was incredibly close. We saw it late. Mick Schumacher turning into the corner. We had to cut across him. That was so close. But now we're on the back of the TV and a bit of deja vu from the last time we were in Hungary when we were driving the Aston Martin. 
and Latifi was still at Williams and we spent essentially the entire race behind him but this time we have a much more superior car and I'm not letting that happen again we send it to the inside but we've gone a bit deep and Latifi's gone back up the inside then the odd switch back and now he's going to try and hold it around the outside we send him a long way round and we're ahead of Latifi and that was a lot easier than it was the last time we were here as Gasly who was pitted he's now coming back through on his mediums and now at the inside of us we go we're not, we're not fighting him he's very much not our race but I'm still not going to make it easy for him as he goes sailing round our outside at turn 2 we tried to square off turn 3 to have a look back at the outside but he's gone and he's not our fight today as this is Perez from P3 Perez's engine bit of smoke there and it has popped and with his teammate Verstappen leading the race that could raise concerns at Red Bull but Perez is out of the Hungarian Grand Prix on to lap 16 now and we were just going about our business Albon had got his way through as we come in to make our one and only stop of the day onto the hard tyres we didn't really have the pace for those in front but we were so much quicker than the Astons and the Alphas behind us but we come out then in a 16th place and we've got a job on our hands now as this is Sonoda who we were just about staying in touch with he was 6 seconds up the road he spun out and I think there was a little bit of contact with the barrier this is a replay he lights it up coming out of the chicane and that means it's gone from about 6 seconds up the road to around about 2.5 Oh, that's something so I didn't even see. That's a spinner. Okay, clear. And it is Tickton. So Tickton had spun in front of us and my prayers were answered as a bit of drama. But it's a big spin for Tickton then. I have to do a three point turn. But skipping all the way onto the final lap, Max Verstappen is going to win. The Hungarian Grand Prix to extend his lead in the championship. Leclerc comes home for P2. It's another podium for Lando Norris and McLaren. <sighs> Couldn't get Sonoda in the end. We're going around the second to last corner. So into the final corner. We just couldn't catch Sonoda in the end. Got it down to around the second and a half. But it's a disappointing day. As we finish P13. We'll see you in part firmly. Red Bull put up an outstanding fight for the front position today, and it's great to see it paid off for them. They do so much for the sport that you can't help but be delighted by today's race win. So that's been your Hungarian Grand Prix and that is very much a weekend to forget for us. Terrible qualifying, terrible race, had no pace and went to forget and this could really damage our hopes now in the championship. After the win at Silverstone, Paul Ricard at France didn't go so well last time out we were stuck behind Sonoda and today in Hungary we couldn't even catch Sonoda. After his spin he must have had damage or a problem because we were catching him. The gap was staying around 2 seconds but we got it down to about 1.5 on the final lap. 
but it wasn't to be. The standings then and Calas Sites has jumped me and Perez. Perez not scoring and also me not scoring as well. George there still, but as you can see, we are now 76 points off the top of the table. Max Verstappen. We have third in the constructors still. Nothing has changed there apart from McLaren jumping out for Tauri. We are now 93 points behind Red Bull at the top of the constructors, but a very dull race. We just didn't have the pace. We just were there driving round and round all on my own. Not getting the Alphas and the Astons at the start really hurt our race because we were just stuck then. We didn't have the pace for those in front. I hope you enjoyed it. I was going to do a break for F1 Manager but being since the new F1 game is on the horizon we need to get this season done. So the next video will be in Belgium. Goodbye.